well here we are it's one week after super saturday i've been to the pub i've had a couple of pints i'm now in the garden enjoying a glass of wine with my kitty cats this is nimbus he's been a bit of a worry we've been waiting indoors and your baby he's my baby he's my big baby yeah. Aww. say hello to nimbus wish him luck He's 10 years old. He's had a bit of a problem with cystitis. Oh, we think he's okay now. Give him lots of wet food, lots of liquid. He's a good boy. He's, a, he's my baby. And then we've got Dom. He was just about to knock my glass of wine over. <gasps> Say, hey, Dom, Dom, look. Who's this? No. <laughs> oh, look. Dom doesn't like being picked up. And... Pablo's indoors somewhere. Anyway, that's enough cat bollocks for now. Um, I'm going to get onto the subject of, uh, I think the Aspie World did a video about this and I'll, I'll see if I can link this as, into this video. I, I'm not very, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, it's about six o'clock. The sun is beating down. I've had the whole day to myself. I haven't, I've done bugger all and I'm really enjoying it. Really, I really am. Um, it's just nice after three months to have the place to myself. Oh, excuse my hair, I should have done something with it, but bollocks it. Um, yeah, the other half has gone on to a party. Uh, you know, because you can now. And uh, so, yes, I've had the afternoon to myself and it's been absolutely lovely. Yeah, what did I say, Nimbus? <laughs> But what I wanted to uh, talk about was um, mask shaming. Now, like I said, the Aspie World has already done a video on this. And although things are still starting to get back to normal, I've seen an awful lot of shit on, excuse my French, but uh, merde. I've seen a lot of merde on the internet about um, people wearing masks, people not wearing masks, blah de blah de blah The people who, who are wearing masks... A virtual signalling all over the place. The people who don't want to wear masks are saying that it's a massive conspiracy and Bill Gates has created this virus and, you know, or whatever it is. My personal way of thinking is I live in a, a rural area and I think out of all the people I've seen in the shops, maybe about 10 or 20% have been wearing masks. Now, you might say that that's irresponsible. Uh, um, but I've been I've been doing looking that up and a, a lot of there's there's conflicting um, there's conflicting points of view. Um, s some people say it's bad for you. Some people say it's good for you. Some people say it's just to make fe people feel better, which I'm inclined to think that that is the case, because if you are touching everything. They say, don't touch your face. One of the first things they said about coronavirus was, don't touch your face. Have you got a mask on? Stop clawing me. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, look. Hey, Pablo. Say hi. <laughs> it's clawing my bum, a little git. Um, sorry, getting back to the uh, important stuff. One of the things they first said about coronavirus when uh, before the lockdown before anything happened way back in beginning of march maybe uh, uh, maybe february one of the things they said was don't touch your face and uh, some people have got masks and they're pulling it down pulling it up touching their face touching their you know sinuses and around this and then they're touching things um I am um, honestly, and, and also, you know, there was protests, and I'm not, I'm, I want to get political about this, if you want to believe in protesting, good for you, you know, but please allow the rest of us freedom to go out as, as well, because, you know, the coronavirus doesn't know a difference between a conscionable protest for a good cause and going to the pub in Soho. You know, it doesn't know the difference between those two crowds. It can't read. You know, it's a virus. It's a fucking virus. It doesn't know the difference. 
So when these things get politicised, it really gets my goat. But thankfully now there are people who are saying, look, there are people who legitimately can't wear the mask. It's not that they don't want to, it's, it's that they actually can't physically handle it. Now, it might be that it might be that they're they're deaf and they don't want to try and well they can't lip read people with masks on it might be that they've got an anxiety disorder so anything covering their face is going to make them hyperventilate it could be like me or the Aspie world where it's just too much sensory I mean I don't want to say it's aggravation because it makes it sound like oh you're just making a fuss but it is actually physically painful and for that reason, I don't ever wear anything around my neck. You know, I, I've never worn polar neck necklaces, Ooh, okay, <laughs> um, bangles. I don't think like things around my wrists. Um, I don't like things around my neck. I don't like wearing makeup. I, it just, it just, it it makes me so uncomfortable that I cannot literally, I literally cannot communicate with anyone or do anything because I'm so overwhelmed by the feeling of things. You know um touching me it's 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 really it's very difficult to explain without coming across as a bit of a moron but there it is so it just annoys me that the, the videos that come in out it's like if you don't wear masks you know you're you're unconscionable you're you're just evil you're disgusting you're just horrible you're a granny killer you know why don't you think of more pe other people apart from yourselves etc 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 but you do have recourse if you are disabled if you are challenged um emotionally mentally whatever it is that you've got sensory issues or whatever you've got please do check out your um government um website i have um checked out my uh, UK website where I live and there are thankfully things that will you know allow for people like me who if I had to wear a mask I would I would just I could I just couldn't function I would just like I don't like I don't even like wearing glasses I don't like wearing glasses I don't like wearing sunglasses I don't like anything on my face even just doing that makes me feel really sick I just don't like anything touching my face and there might be other people who have had trauma in their childhood where you know I, I don't want to trigger anyone but you know there might have been kids who have been suffocated or blindfolded or abused and that some random stranger comes up to them and blasts them public feet for not wearing a mask how's that going to make them feel please you know i saw a brilliant website earlier and i can't remember where it was some some it was an oh somewhere in one of the colonies i'd like to say outside the colonies the british but it was an island um i think it was called st George's George's or it's one I think it was one of the Virgin Islands or something and they was they, they had a video out on YouTube and they said just be kind not everyone can wear a mask just be kind and I thought yes please do because you know it's not that they are we are trying to be reactionary it's just some of us just cannot cope with it they just we not literally like cannot cope with it like oh I can't cope with you know doing the dishes or anything. there are people whose range of experiences is so I was gonna say not limited but it's so um, it's so a range of experiences is hemmed in by their by the way that they experience the world like they just find things not just frustrating like any so I was going, normal any no, normal person would but they find it excruciating and agonizing and horrible and thankfully there are um, people who recognize this and we just need to be a little bit more aware that there are people out there who have difficulties 
and we don't want to take a step back in recognising minorities at this time when there's a pandemic on and there are minor minorities who are suffering there are it really made me angry for example when when people started protesting and and i said on social media i think it was twitter and i said look you're going you know these people from well-to-do households and that nice neighborhoods they're going into the inner city and socializing and spreading and just you know you could pick up something a virus from someone you could spread it to someone else and you could go home to your lovely white community and the people leave the people in the black community they they might have picked something up from you because you wanted to go and wave a placard which doesn't make you immune i'm sorry but like i said before having a placard does not make you immune from the coronavirus you can't read so having said that there are other um minorities that uh suffer like i said black and asian minorities suffer poor people suffer and the disabled people suffer and a lot of people with disabilities rely on public transport they don't want to have to go onto public transport and be pushed and shoved and pointed at and glared at and that because they don't wear a mask because you know it's bad enough being shut in your house as it is and one of the things that uh, one of the things that's come out of this is that able able-bodied able-minded people have figured out that restrictions of freedoms are horrible well we've had them for years i can't even drive a proper manual car and i can only drive an automatic for <sighs> certain restricted uh, journeys and i th i'm not the only one who's who's got problems like that and i i've got a disability bus pass and i haven't i haven't been able to use it um they sort you know, they saw fit to give me a disability bus pass. But I'm scared to use it because if I go on the bus, I will look like a selfish git if I don't have a mask on. But I just, want to, I just wanted you lot to know that if you have any difficulties, please look at look up your internet look at your internet look, look at web pages about mask wearing you might be exempt if you are there are ways of making people aware of that if you don't want to wear a badge you feel like that's an invasion of your own privacy that is fair enough um i have designed some badges for people in the uk and it's got a QR code and you can link it to the government website so that if anyone complains about you going on public transport without a mask and you are disabled, they can, I mean, if they wanted to get near enough to you, there's the irony, but I couldn't put all of the, the information on, on, on a, 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 like a badge that big because it would have to like take up the whole, you know, you don't want to wear a t-shirt. So, I just I just slimmed it down and put the QR code that links to the information. More it needs to be known that for years and years disabled people have had their freedoms irked, you know, uh, uh, irked, um, have had their freedoms curtailed, and we are just as entitled to do whatever we like as anybody else. And you, you have no right to tell us to get back in our own houses because we can't cope with sensory issues, with things covering our faces and traumatising us because we think we're going to faint or collapse or we just can't. I can't explain it. You need to talk to autistic people. You need to get on autistic 
people, Facebook groups, Twitter, Reddit, watch videos, please make yourself aware before you start judging the fuck out of people for not wearing a mask. A lot of people do it because they can't be bothered or because they think that the coronavirus is bullshit or because they think they're better than everyone else. But there's an awful lot of people who don't wear the mask because it is it's 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 an it's an ordeal it's not just an inconvenience it's a painful ordeal and i just want everyone to be a, a little bit kinder to, towards each other and, and realize that not everyone experiences the world the same well peace out and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend bye bye